what I want to say is with this five of wands energy, you're going to be able to tell just how seriously imbalanced this situation is when you stand up, when you speak up and you speak from the heart and you speak your truth and you, you say the things that maybe you've been needing to say, even though it's not an easy thing to do and people explode around you. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day or for whenever you are guided to watch this reading. Yes, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is somewhat of a timeless reading, yes? So whenever you're guided to watch this and it resonates, then that's most likely the message for you in that moment. However, keep in mind that it could resonate much more or in a much greater way or to a much greater capacity uh, later on in the future, yeah? So I have made it back to Puerto Rico. As you can probably hear, the roosters are in full effect. The birds are chirping. It's a beautiful, sunny, beautiful day. I'm very, very happy to be back. Um, let's have a little bit of story time so that I can explain to you guys what happened while I was there in my lovely home state of New York City. Yeah, well, okay, so it's a city, but like my lovely home of New York State, but also like New York City. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, um, for those of you that would like to skip story time, I don't really have any like profound messages for you guys. I just want to explain what happened. So if you want to skip, for those of you that would like to do so, please go ahead and timestamp. I'm gonna try and remember to do it myself also, so if you don't find a timestamp in there already, please, my, by all means, go ahead and do so. But story time. Okay, so ready, check it out. So, okay, so um, as you guys know, uh, well, I did, well, if you're on Patreon, you know exactly where I was, but also if you didn't, if you're not on Patreon, then you probably could figure it out just by looking at my surroundings, but I was in New York. Um, I had gone to Brooklyn to visit my friends. So I had gone back to Bushwick, um, which is where I lived right before I moved here to Puerto Rico. Uh, and I did it at a very specific time because first of all, May is um, our birth month for me. Me and almost all of my friends, well, not all, not all, but like a, a lot of my friends here in Puerto Rico, but also back at home in Brooklyn. Um, and so for those of you that have been following me for long enough, you've heard me speak of my friend Natalie who is a chef. Um, so she had a pop-up. She's been doing pop-ups lately, which are going really, really well, by the way. Um, like, not to like brag or anything, but she like totally sold out of her food that she had prepared um, for the pop-up by like nine o'clock at night. Like, homegirl straight up sold out of everything. All of the batch drinks that they had on the menu for this for the pop-up and all of the special food that she had put together like homegirl did it up and it was fantastic it was an awesome turnout like almost all of our friends were there plus a bunch of other people that came like it was dope af right so okay so check it out so amina uh, about a month before i i left I, I went out there to visit amina had hit me up we were talking and she was like so is there any possible way that you could like make it out to New York for this pop-up. Um, and she had sent me that in a text message and I was in the middle of doing some work when I got it. So I couldn't, I couldn't reply like right, right away. But as soon as I saw that text message, I called her and was like, yep, we're doing this. Because I had already been trying to, you know, figure out a time that I could go back and visit because this was my first visit, uh, my first trip back since I had moved here. So it had been, it had been almost a year that I hadn't been back to New York and everything. So it was really, a perfectly timed situation because not only was it was I able to be there for the pop-up but I was also able to be there for Natalie's birthday which was the day of the pop-up right so check it out so Amina and Natalie live like right around the corner from each other but Amina and I were totally banking on the fact that Nat was going to be busy for the first few days that I got there I got I flew there on Tuesday morning of last week <clears throat> got to the city Got to Amina's house by like around one o'clock. Um, oh Lord. Do you hear that? That's Orion and this other cat in the area. I'm sorry guys, hold on a second. I have to break this up. 
sorry guys there's this other cat that has been in the area and um i don't know if he like belongs to any of the other people around or whatever but he and orion I, is it a, i think it's a male cat but they just like i they haven't I, I haven't seen them actually get into a physical fight with each other it's just like right now they're just like standing there like screaming at each other and it's really obnoxious but like also i don't want him fighting but whatever. So anyway, so uh, Amina and I banked on the fact that Natalie was going to be busy and like too busy to even like talk or hang out to just preparing for this pop-up. Because keep in mind, Nat is the head chef here. So Nat put together the rest of the, the recipes and the menu and everything like she, this is her thing, right? So she was, she was so busy. So I was, I spent two days, two days, literally right around the corner from her. Um, and she had no idea. And, um, and Amina even played it off uh, maybe like a week or so before I got there, just saying, you're like, oh, you know, I really miss Eric. Have you spoken to him lately? And Nat's like, no, I haven't. And Amina's like, yeah, I mean, last I spoke to him, he was kind of settling in there. So I don't think he's really going to be coming back anytime soon. And it's just like, oh, man, that sucks. And then, but then there I was. It was, it was really, really awesome. Um, we both cried when we saw each other. I actually cried when I when we landed in at JFK. Like <sighs> that was an intense moment to like actually be back, you know, to be back home and everything. I mean, like my I do have a home here in Puerto Rico now, but like also like uh, Brooklyn, New York is still my home too. So it was just really cathartic and really really nice to be back. It was nice to be back in the city. For those of you that are over on Patreon, then you know that I did a, a reading in Washington Square Park, which turned out to be really fun. Um, but it was a really, it was a really awesome trip. But also, it put a lot into perspective for me. Um, and it, it, it happened. It, it seems like it was a cap on you know a lot of this downtime energy that I've been feeling, or a lot of this like. Mm -hmm. I guess what I just heard was deceptive energy, but it was deceptive in the sense that I didn't, I didn't really have any motivation. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know where I belonged. I didn't know where I wanted to be. Um, but as you know, time has gone on and things have been starting to take shape and I'm starting to recognize a new avenue for me to start pursuing. That trip to New York really helped me put a lot of things into perspective in terms of where I am right now, where I'm going and where I ultimately want to end up. And it's helped me realize that while, yes, I do miss being in New York, um, I am very much settled in here. I do have a home here. I do have a family here. And that's great and all. But also being here in Puerto Rico right now is really perfect for me in terms of going through this big shift that we're all going through in which we're seeing new opportunities or we're, we're opening new avenues or we're expanding in ways that we maybe never, never have in the past or we're going in new directions. And so for me, this has become the cocoon that I need to help me really flourish through this transition and transformation. And being back in New York really helped me see that. And it's almost as if um, I'm like, I'm now that I'm back in Puerto Rico and I've had that like reset type of situation it's almost as if I'm more willing to participate in my life now than I was like a week ago do you know what I mean like I mean I'm not I'm not saying I'm hitting the ground running but I just feel like I'm ready to start picking up where I left off and start moving forward and and so I'm really grateful that I was able to have that experience I'm really grateful that that it it worked out so well like Amina and I are totally calling this the best kept secret because literally nobody knew I surprised everyone and it was fantastic it was fucking fantastic y'all okay so anyway Let's get into today's reading, today's energy. Um, I'm back home, so we're using the Vice Versa deck again because that really seems to vibe very well with Morning Coffee. You guys seem to love it, so we're going to do that. I also have the Los Carabello deck as our clarifier, and then we're going to get some Oracle Guidance from a specific deck when we cross that bridge. Well, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there, yeah? Also, last little tidbit, I am planning on doing happy hour tonight, yeah? So uh, the floor is officially open if you would like to get in on the list. The, the information is in the description box below. Um, 
not. Also, I do want to say, um, first of all, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, make sure that you get that, um, that you're, you're aware of that. But also, um, I'm definitely excited to approach happy hour the way that I did last week or two weeks ago, excuse me. The, um, the, the one, the last one that we did that got deleted, which had some really awesome messages in it. And to be quite honest with you, in hindsight, with how, how much things are being censored on YouTube and like everywhere, I'm not surprised that video was taken down. Um, I'm disappointed, but I'm not surprised. Uh, so, uh, but what I did during that session was um, in between readings, you know, I didn't have, I didn't have like a full set, like the, 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 the list wasn't full by the time I started. So in, t in terms of like, you know, giving people opportunities to get readings if they wanted to get in on the list. I went and I just pulled random messages and it was awesome. Like there was so much great stuff that came through. So even if you don't want to get a reading for happy hour tonight, I still highly recommend that you tune in or that you check it out or at least that you watch it after the fact so that, um, you know, you can potentially get in on any of the extra messages that come through, right? Okay, awesome. Let's get into this, guys, and see what we've got for today. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, circumstances, places, roman romances, and relationships in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids. Let's get into this here and see what we've got. Yeah, I'm going to give this five shuffles. One. Morning coffee. This is two. What's going on with the collective, y'all? This is three. Oh, um, one of the things that I definitely did not miss about Puerto Rico or the island is the freaking mosquitoes, man. Dem skaters. Mm. This is four. I hadn't been on the island for 24 hours and I had already gotten eaten alive. Including this one on my arm that I popped yesterday because it formed a blister and it's still, it's still oozing. This is five. I mean, okay, whatever. Maybe that was a little bit of TMI, but y'all get it. Okay, fine. <laughs> mm. Alrighty, kids. What have we got going on? What are the messages for the moment? For the collective? What's going on with the kids here? Okay. Well, some of you are dealing with some pretty explosive endings to something. At the uh, 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 overall energy here, we do have the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Swords. All right. There, there, there are some... Look, there are some completions happening here. Okay. First card that came out is the world. And it's uh, the... We're seeing the back of her. Um, you also have that with the Ten of Swords and the King of Cups. I feel like somebody is seriously turning their back on something or someone or some sort of event or some sort of situation here. And it's going to end, and, and the result of this or um, what could come of this is fairly explosive. We do have the Five of Wands, but it's the side of the Five of Wands where we have this volcano erupting. And I feel like this is somebody else. I'm I, Okay, I, what I feel like is happening here is the individual who was well, let me say it this way. Most likely, the individual who is watching this video right now uh, and who is also resonating with this message, you are the King of Cups. Of course, it could be it, it could be a different, it could be the other way around. 
Um, you could be the individual that's expressing this Five of Wands energy, but the strongest thing that I'm getting here or the strongest thing I'm feeling is that the message is, this message is for the individual that is sitting in this King of Cups energy. And you're turning your back on a situation that is toxic. You're no longer persevering here. You have the Nine of Wands in reverse. And the Six of Pentacles is the main theme here. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles being balance of give and take, okay? Uh, a, har a harmonious situation in which both parties are providing to the situation. Both parties are getting what they need while giving in return. Um, there's a balance between giving and receiving in this situation, but, but, but well, that's what the Six of Pentacles represents. However, I do not feel that's what this situation is for you. And you're kind of taking the high road here. You're doing what's necessary in order to bring this situation to a close. And no, it's not the easiest thing to do, right? It's because when the King of Cups represents doing something, um, well, the King of Cups can represent doing what you know is right, even though it's not the easiest thing to do. And that's comes from the King of Cups uh, uh, emotional availability and emotional responsibility, right? That energy. So what I feel like is happening here, you guys, I feel like you are consciously choosing to step through this portal represented here by the, the world and move forward in a different direction or move forward in a way that is much, that is in much greater alignment with you because ultimately this situation has to, has to end the Ten of Swords, and the Five of Wands. And what I want to say is, with this Five of Wands energy, you're going to be able to tell just how seriously imbalanced this situation is when you stand up, when you speak up, and you speak from the heart, and you speak your truth, and you, you say the things that maybe you've been needing to say, or you shed light or bring enlightenment to the elements of the situation that have needed to be seen for what it truly is, even though it's not an easy thing to do, okay? I feel like there is definitely an awareness that you speaking your truth or honoring yourself in this way is going to trigger some people. It's going to create a fight almost. And what I want to say is you are going to be able to tell exactly how unreciprocal this situation is when you speak your truth, when you speak from the heart, when you say what's really on your mind or what it is you're really feeling. Not to say that you're saying that you're doing this in a vindictive way, um, but you're just being honest about the situation and people explode around you. Talking about you can't do this, you can't do that, or their egos get really triggered and blah, blah, blah. Like when that happens, that's when you're going to be like, okay, yes, I'm making the right decision here. Even though they're having a field day with it, they're literally losing their shit over it. You're sitting here in this calm, cool, and collected energy. And, and, and honestly, you guys, what I'm getting from this King of Cups, especially with his back turned, is that you may communicate something and they explode about it and you're just kind of like, you have the emotional awareness and maturity to look at it for what it is and not even respond. Just literally turn your back. Just literally be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right? Yeah. I literally just heard taking the high road is necessary here. Okay. Let's get into some clarification. Five shuffles here. One. Two. Three. Start with the King of Cups, yes? This guy, this energy right here. All right, well, look at that. Death is at the bottom of the deck so far. All right, so um, transformation, yes. Uh, I'm hearing, I just heard a long-standing ending. This was something that needed to end for quite a while. 
Um, but what I'm he what I just heard was and, and and don't feel bad. We're not like reprimanding you or being like it's about time, bitch. No, that's not what we're saying here. Because what I just heard also was uh, it took you a while to come to terms with that. Nine of Wands, which is now in reverse here. The Nine of, the nine of Wands is, yes, uh, is a very defensive energy. Yes, it's about, um, you know, feeling battered and bruised, having been through a pretty long and arduous battle and like feeling exhausted, but still not giving up, feeling like you have to look over your shoulder, blah, blah, blah. But also that also represents uh, perseverance, not giving up. And I feel like there was a, the le there, there, there's a lesson here in terms of listening to your heart and honoring what's truly going on within your heart because I feel like also, even though this King of Cups is representing doing the right thing, but also in terms of like doing the right thing in terms of turning your back here, there was also an energy with this King of Cups of, of trying to keep up with it, trying to see it through, trying to persevere, trying to stick it out, blah, 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 but it's just not reciprocal enough for that. And I feel like either there's something that's happening Either, either there's something that's happening here in terms of like the, 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 the straw that has broken the camel's back, the final straw that's broken the camel's back, right? You're either going to experience this in some sort of conversation that you're going to have with this per person or these people or like in terms of whatever the situation or circumstance is for you. You're either going to experience that straw that broke the camel's back in that conversation that leads to some sort of explosion or it's already happened. Like you've already come to terms or come to the realization that, you know, this is not balanced. This is not reciprocal. This is not an equal give and take. And thus now you're turning your back and speaking your truth about it. Okay. But this King of Cups energy definitely gives me a feeling of at some point you did persevere, but now no more. All right. And so there's a big transformation going on. But let's get into this here. What's, let's look a little, deep, little deeper into the energies of this King of Cups. Can you tell us about this King of Cups energy, please, Spirit? And no, this is not, this has nothing to do with gender. This is a gender neutral situation, right? Okay. Interesting. Overall energies is the five of pentacles. Ah, the five of pentacles with the devil. Underneath that to the ace of cups. Damn, to the queen of swords too, okay? But um, what I feel like here is there is a realization um, that there is a lack of mentality here, that someone is feeling left out in the cold. But what I'm getting with this five of pentacles energy in terms of feeling left out in the cold, what I think you've realized in this situation is that this person or these people or this circumstance is more concerned with being in this woe is me energy and getting other people to do for them or whatnot, whatever, instead of pulling themselves up and releasing this toxicity, these chains, whatever binds them, the codependency, right? Instead of releasing that, they are more in tune with staying in that vibration. And with this Ace of Cups to the Queen of Swords, that's not the vibration you want to stay in any longer. Ace of Cups is representing self-love, okay? Uh, compassion also, but I feel like what, because also what you have here, to clarify the King of Cups, you do have Temperance. You have Temperance with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Cups. So what this is kind of saying to me here is I feel like these this individual or this situation or circumstance may have been taking advantage of you. And I think that's what you're starting to recognize. Um, they took your kindness for weakness is what I just heard. And in, in, in for you or for whomever is in this King of Cups energy, you have come to a place of great balance under, and understanding too. I am getting that. Even though, even though whomever or whatever it is you may be turning your away from or turning your back from, even though that situation may spin it or may have a narrative that you are heartless or this King of Cups energy is, you know, being super selfish and all that kind of stuff. That's not the case, okay? Because they're coming from this, well, they're coming from this energy. The Five of Wands, this is this explosive Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, which is a lack mentality and the devil, which is codependency, okay? Um, you're not 
the bad guy here. What really, uh, honestly, what really needs to happen and what you're starting to realize here in this King of Cups energy is that they need to be left to their own devices because nothing is going to change if you keep, if you keep coddling them, right? So you in, or whomever is in this King of Cups energy has reached a sense of great internal balance. I also feel like, I, I feel specifically that this temperance energy also is representing a level of compassion, okay? even if they don't want to see it within you. But also what has happened here is there has become a balance between um, the deception that's around you or the deception that was around you, Seven of Swords, and your heart wanting to help, wanting to be there, wanting to be of service. And this is where I'm getting that energy of, I feel like this situation really was taking advantage of you because you were in this Knight of Cups energy of, let me help you, let me be here for you. I, you know, I want to serve, I, I, I want, you know, this, that, and the third, but the situation is not what it seemed, Seven of Swords. And what I'm getting specifically, I don't know what is going on here specifically, but what I am, a pretty specific thing that I'm getting is that these people did, or this situation or circumstance did not need the help that you were providing to them because they could in fact handle this on their own. But again, I feel like they took your kindness for weakness or they took this King of Cups kindness for weakness and now that's creating a firestorm because this, this King of Cups individual, whomever is in this emotionally mature and emotionally available energy is no longer being of service to this shit. The Devil and the, and the Five of Pentacles, okay? Okay, uh, let's continue here. Uh, other, the next thing that I want to look at is this Ten of Swords and the Five of Wands energy. Let's let's just get a little bit more on that. Um, some guidance here, anything to look out for. What is this? There's death again. All right. A change in perspective is what I just heard, even though that's not the hanged man. Um, I feel like the change in perspective is uh, is held by this King of Cups individual. Okay. Um, oh, mm -hmm. However, uh, I was looking for more of guidance here, and I guess I got it because what I got is a little bit of confirmation, and what I'm hearing is reassurance. What you have clarifying this Five of Wands and this Ten of Swords energy is the Eight of Pentacles to the Chariot and Judgment. So, even though, even though this might sound a little bit weird, it may not make too much sense right now on the surface. What I feel like has happened here is, first of all, whomever has been in this King of Cups energy has been in direct alignment their whole this whole time. The Chariot. You haven't done anything wrong. Um, and please do not allow this situation to discourage you from being helpful or supportive to individuals in the future. What I feel like needed to happen here is you needed to go through this hard work and craftsmanship process, Eight of Pentacles, to understand how it is you want to be of service, to put you in greater alignment, the chariot, with what it is you're really truly trying to bring to the world. And thus, you're rising above this situation, judgment. Now, this is an, a level of reassurance for whomever is in this King of Cups energy. You are, in fact, doing the right thing. You are, in fact, going in the right direction. Do not let the tempers and the egos of those that are not being honest, or at least being as honest as they could be, and it's not even about being honest with you. The strongest thing that I'm getting here is they're not even being honest with themselves. They're not. They're sitting here using manipulative tactics to get what it is that they want from people instead of doing the actual work. Eight of Pentacles. But you see, you here have been doing the work. Okay, and then maybe, okay, so that's a level of, of reassurance uh, uh, for whomever is in the King of Cups energy. But also now this is the message for those individuals that are sitting here humming and hawing, whoop-de-whoop and all that bullshit about how you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this to me, this, that, and the third. Check it out. 
You need to do the work. If you were to do the, 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 the craftsmanship work, the day-to-day -day consistent work to get yourself in alignment, then you could rise above this situation all on your own. You don't need anybody else to do it for you. But the longer you sit here and listen to that devil energy about how you can't, you're not worthy, you're not good enough, this, that, and the third, you will always be attached to that codependent, toxic, low vibrational, devilish bullshit. It's not the King of Cups' fault. Whomever is in this King of Cups energy, it's not their fault. They didn't do anything wrong. Quite frankly, they've been trying to help you this whole time, but you've just been feeding off of them. And quite frankly, they've been doing nothing in hindsight but coddle you. So unless you, I mean, shit, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find someone else to step into their place, but you're never going to get out of this energy if you don't do the work for yourself. And thus, that is the transformation. That is the transformation death that this King of Cups energy is bringing forward, is, is catalyzing. This King of Cups energy is literally looking at you saying, honey, I'm sorry, but you're on your own now. You got to do this for you. I can't do, I cannot pick up the pieces for you any longer, says this King of Cups. You're going to have to learn to fight for your own here. That doesn't mean that I'm not here for you. That doesn't mean that I'm not, I can't be any sort of like emotional support. I, I don't know. I, I'm also hearing that doesn't mean we can't be friends. Take it with a grain of salt, depending on your situation. Okay. But that's the compassionate energy of this King of Cups. And quite frankly, what you need to recognize is that is exactly why you've been able to take advantage of this individual because they're open hearted and they're emotionally available and they're willing to help. Now, to that person that is in this King of Cups energy, this was the lesson that you needed to learn in terms of greater boundaries for yourself so that you can continue to be of service here, okay? This is not, this situation has not been anything to get you to be discouraged from being emotionally available, being the good guy, being the good girl, a uh, good woman, what, just, no. This was just meant to help you get into greater alignment and actually have maybe some greater boundaries, okay? What do we wanna do now? Just one more pull from this deck. Okay, closing guidance from the Tarot here, please, and then we'll get our Oracle guidance to close out the reading. Eight of Wands is at the bottom of the deck. There is going to be communication. There is going to be a conversation. Uh, for some of you. For others of you, this Eight of Wands represents the clear and open air to move forward. Okay? Um, some You have the... You, look, look. King of Wands. Ten of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. You have every right to put down these burdens and go in the direction that you want to go in, to create a new opportunity or a new situation for yourself. You have every right to do that, says the King of Wands. You have every right to lay down all these burdens and clear up the path for yourself so that you can change the game, start over, turn over a new leap, create a new opportunity for yourself, start on a new path. The choice is absolutely yours, the lover's. Whatever serves your highest good. And, and, and some of you are actually kind of um, nervous or, or, or feeling, feeling like you're, if you're moving, you, feeling like you're not going to be of service any longer, but you are. As long as that's what's in your heart, as long as that's what you desire to do, you will find new opportunities to be of service where you're not so burdened and bogged down. Okay, where you're not constantly picking up the pieces for everybody else or for these other individuals. That is a very strong message that just keeps coming through. You, it is not your responsibility to pick up the pieces for everybody all the time, for everybody all the time, okay? All right, closing Oracle guidance. From where? The Lightworker Oracle, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Lightworker Oracle. 
We haven't used this deck in a while. Okay. Five, sh four shuffles. Okay, one. Two. Three. And four. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance, please, Spirit. Okie dokie. We have card number 28, which boils down to a 10, which is a completion. Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. Part of your divine purpose is to develop the power of your mind and use it for healing purposes. If you change your mind, you can change your world. Guidance and healing inspiration can come to you daily, helping improve your own life and the lives of others. Healing and opening the mind to new realities and possibilities are the gifts of Ascended Master Hilarion and Archangel Raphael. And that really is that really is the theme here, you guys, because there are either there's a group of people or a few individuals or whatever that are associated with this situation that are in a mindset of they can't do, they can't do, they can't do for themselves is what I'm hearing specifically. But this is literally all about changing your mindset, getting yourself out of that five of pentacles, lack mentality, energy, devil type, codependent, whatever, whoop de boop and all that boo shit, getting your mind out of that and recognizing just how powerful you are. And whomever is in this king of cups energy can no longer assist the, indiv the other individuals in this situation in this capacity without removing themselves from the situation. Because the more you stay involved with this, in that sort of way, the more you're just going to help these individuals reinforce their already entrenched belief that they can't do for themselves. That doesn't like this is not to say that, you know, you shouldn't ask for help or you don't you're 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 not going to need, you know, an extra hand every once here and there. But that's not what we're talking about here so don't get it twisted do not allow anybody to twist this shit around and try and be like oh what so you're not so what i just i have to do everything on my own no don't do that all right don't see but that ooh, that feels specifically exactly why somebody here is literally just like turning like literally just like okay you know what i'm not even gonna say anything else i'm just gonna turn my back because it's just, <laughs> i mean i can't argue with that this any longer right what else do we have here? Um, I think that's it. Yeah, we got the message that we needed. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. Uh, and if I don't see you tonight for happy hour, then I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>